Guys, my friend got me a felting kit and you can make little guys. Oh my god. Look at him. She actually got me this for Christmas, but I thought, who would I be if I didn't share this with you? I mean, who would I be if I kept small sea fish from you? So let's make some little friends today together. I'm gonna make little friends and I'm going to put them all around my room. More trinkets for my bookshelf. I say as if I haven't literally used up every last bit of space already, but um, there's no such thing as too many trinkets. So... I just realized that like making these things literally entails stabbing them and working with needles. I think we all know how this is going to go, but um, anyways, let's let's see what's actually in here. Okay, so first of all, we, we get some instructions. That's good because I haven't done this in a very long time. The last time I did felting was in elementary school. Felting was kind of way more present back then in my life than it is now. But okay, I think I will be able to... Okay, these are just general instructions and then we have instructions for four different little creatures. We got the fart chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Who made this? And small sea fish, green monster, and a little dinosaur. <laughs> Look at him. Oh my god, this is amazing. Okay, and then we have some tools. All the sharp things. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with this. And then we have the different kits for the different monsters and this block. I'm going to read the instructions, the general ones, and then we need to decide which one of these guys we are going to make. I think I have to make the little dinosaur because it's a little dinosaur. I mean, look at him. What is this? I love him with all my heart. <laughs> okay, I'm going to look at how to actually do this. See you in a minute. Okay, the instructions sound a bit like they were translated with Google Translate, so I... Didn't understand everything, but that's fine because, I mean, I do, I always do all, uh, all of my crafts without a plan anyway. So, um, surely I can, I can do this. At least there are pictures. Okay, let's, let's find, find a big needle first and hope that I don't ex accidentally lose them in my room. You may be asking yourself, why not just do this at like a desk? Maybe I just live for the adrenaline kick. For you, it's rock climbing or parachuting. For me, it's the possibility of getting stabbed every time I set foot in my room. Oh, yeah, okay, it's it's already happening. I once again have no idea what I'm doing, but I got some green. That's a nice start. Oh god, okay, okay, that's so much more than it looked like when it was in the bag. Um, this is the little dinosaur. I think you can tell, right? Okay, it's sad to not w start with too much, so let's, uh, I don't know, take this much, maybe? And then I need to make a cylinder. How do I make a cylinder? I don't know. Where's my... Okay, I already lost, like, half of the tools I need. Well, I really should make this at a desk, but my dad is working in the same room where my arts and crafts desk is again. And I mean, I'm sure you all wouldn't want to miss out on my wonderful thoughts that I have. So we're doing this here in my room. Oh, there it is. I was looking for this. So I can put this in here now. And now we have a tool for stabbing. That's nice. Okay, I've done this before when I was seven. Surely I can... Sure, surely I can do this now. <laughs> I just know I'm doing this so wrong. That's so funny. Okay, never mind. I don't care. Pokey poke. Wait, I forgot to put these on because I know I will stab my fingers. So I need a little protection. New fashion trend. Now, now we can start poking. I just know this isn't how you're supposed to do this. But it is kind of working. So maybe it is how you're supposed to do this. When I was embroidering my knitwear two videos ago, I said that this wasn't exactly a great activity for people with anger issues. I think this is. You just stab things. It's kind of like a stress ball for arts and crafts people because you just can let your anger out and in the end you have a little dinosaur. That's, that's a win-win. It's two wins for you. Not that I am angry. I'm not. I just, if you are, Go stab some wool. Okay, right now I'm trying to get this into the right shape and it's not really working. Also, it's a bit bigger than it's supposed to be, but then it's uh, not a little dinosaur, it's a medium sized dinosaur, maybe. Don't know. Speedrun stabbing. Let's go. I think it's supposed to be more round than mine is. Mine's kind of rectangular, but nothing 
a quick stabbing can fix. I'm not sure if YouTube is going to like the I use the word stabbing so much, but um, I'm talking about needle felting. Dear YouTube, nothing, nothing's going on here. It's, we are just crafting. It's just a nice and friendly arts and crafts session. We are making a little dinosaur. Nothing, nothing evil is going on here. I swear. I'll see you again once I'm happy with the shape of it. Because right now it kind of looks like a sad bean. Um. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm happy with this now. I think this is an anatomically correct dinosaur body. Once I'm long gone and this has returned to the earth, this will get fossilized. And then in like whatever, how many years it takes for something to get fossilized, archaeologists or whoever's looking for rocks will dig this up and will think this is an actual dinosaur and then they will put it in a museum. That's exactly what will happen, surely. What next? Okay, now some little leggies so that it can stand. I need to make a cylinder, a tiny one, and then I need to cut the cylinder into Okay, let's first make a tiny little cylinder and tiny, tiny little feet for the little guy. I just realized that I was holding it like this. So with one finger that has like the finger protection thing on. And I didn't stab myself. Are you proud of me? I keep looking to the left right here where the picture of the little dinosaur is <laughs> and it just looks so happy and I'm, I'm very, very excited every time I see it. I'm already sorry for the person I will become once this is done. I think I've just unlocked a new obsession. Okay, whoops, I forgot to turn my microphone on, but I, I have two little feet now. I cut the cylinder in half and I just realized that it definitely was in the middle where I cut it because they are not the same size. But do I care? No. Okay, let's let's give our little green goblin two little green feet. This like process of creation really isn't nice. Exactly. It's not a great way to enter this world. You're just getting stabbed over, over and over again and then I also almost threw him on the floor. I'm so sorry, little guy. I am such a professional. Sorry about that. Oh my god. Okay, um, this my bird is singing again, but I'm just going to talk real quick. This dinosaur, this is uh, distracting me way too much. So sorry for the sound right now. I'm just too happy about him. Look, he has, <laughs> he has little feet. What is this? It looks like an Among Us character. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, um, next up. <laughs> next up, I need to make the tail. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> this? This is too much for me. I can't handle this. While I was, was making this, I was trying to remember what exactly I, I did when I was needle felting. Oh my god, please, little guy. Again, I'm just going to talk through the noise. I'm so sorry, but um, I was trying to remember what I did back in elementary school when I was needle felting and I couldn't remember and I, I can't don't think I managed to do something like this. But then again, elementary school me was actually smart and it all went downhill from there on. So maybe I did manage to actually do something like this. But I mean, right now it's a bean with legs, but it'll be a dinosaur, I promise. Um, so let's, let's make the tail now. Yeah. I really don't know what's going on today. I think I've looked too much at this little dinosaur figure and it absorbed kind of all my brain cells because it's so amazing and cute and adorable and I love him. So my brain is now just full of this dinosaur and there's nothing else going on. Okay, now I need to attach the tail. You can't really tell it apart from its feet. So now it's a tripod. This is just getting better and better, really. Wow, I am so talented. It's also not really in the middle. But my little dinosaur is at least going to, spe to be special. It's very unique. And isn't that what we should all strive for? Yes. All right, I think that's fine. It's a tail. Sure, why not? Say hello. 
to the tripod man. Also, it could still become the little android guy. What's next? Eyes. Did it come with eyes? Because even though I collect arts and crafts hobbies, like a maniac, I do not actually own pearls. Okay, but there are eyes in here. Okay, mine, mine is definitely more cylinder shape than the one in the instructions. But we already established that mine, my dinosaur is going to be special. So everything's okay. Let me help you see, my son. He does not want to see the terrors of the world. Look, he has eyes now. Okay, now the rest of his little face. I could give him a mustache so he can be a distinguished gentleman. He looks like he's about to perform a magic trick. We can fix that. One moment. Oh no. <laughs> what have I done? What happened to him? Okay, but I'm not finished yet. Don't worry. Don't worry, we can fix him. Yes, it's working. He smiles. Okay, next up, the blush and the, the teeth. And hold on, he now actually wants to perform a little magic trick. Wait, wait. And behold. <laughs> are you proud of his little magic trick? Please tell him, please tell him you're proud of him. He will cry otherwise. He looks like there are not many thoughts going on in his head. But then again, he was made by me and in my head are also not a lot of thoughts going on. So it kind of fits. <laughs> so cute oh no okay last step some scales some yellow scales and then the little man is complete <sighs> nope nope i can't i can't look at him for too long it's too amazing all right now i just need to attach these and then my son is complete uh, I don't think I don't think I'm ready for this to be honest. Um, I am not worthy of his presence. Are you guys ready? I promise you, you are not. And if you said yes, you are lying. Behold, he. Look at him. Oh my god. No, no, this is too much for me. He's a little cylinder shaped dinosaur. <laughs> hmm. I have created a monster, and the monster is me because I am obsessed. <laughs> my bird approves. He's singing. What do you think? Oh, <laughs> okay. He's scared. He approves, I swear. Okay, let's let's find him a home. He needs to live in my bookshelf because that's all where all my great little guys go. Please ignore the dust. I definitely um clean this regularly. <clears throat> I think he he's going to live next to my frogs. I got three frogs right here. I think he fits right in. Okay, dinosaur montage. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Um, I think I went a little bit insane today. But when do I not? I hope you had at least like a fraction of the fun I had because honestly, this this is the greatest thing I ever made. It's just facts. <laughs> hope you enjoyed. Uh, go go say something nice about him in the comments. I will read them out to him and he will shed some tears of happiness. So do that. Thanks for watching and I will see you again in the next video. Goodbye.